and Phisocinin. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got a really fun tag video to do for y'all today. I've been really enjoying tag videos recently. I just think they're lighthearted and fun and they remind me of old school YouTube days because tags are really big back then and I love that there's some new ones coming around that are just fun. So this one was created by Emily Noel 83 Y'all know I love Emily. I have been a long time subscriber of hers. She's a huge inspiration to me. I just love her as a person and I love her channel. So I will link her down below. I'm sure y'all are all following her, but if you're not, I will link her channel down below. So this is called the What's in My $1,000 Sephora Fantasy Basket Tag. So just what kind of things would you gather together into a fantasy basket from Sephora. What kind of things catch your eye? So that's what I gathered together. I wasn't even signed into my account when I was gathering this because it made me nervous to put that much into my basket. So I'm not even signed into my account on, I have my iPad in front of me. So I've got my things gathered together, but not in my own account because <laughs> we are just daydreaming here. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through the different things, kind of chat about the different products. Some of them look like they're already sold out, but that's okay. We're still just gonna chat about some makeup and have fun, so let's get to it. Okay, so first thing is the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Body Scrub. I love the Boom Boom Cream. It smells amazing, so I figure that the body scrub would be really good too. Um, I typically only use body scrubs before I sunless tan, which isn't all that often because I don't love the process. Um, but I really just like the Sol de Janeiro line. I like the scent of their stuff. So I figured the scrub would be good too, but it's $42. So, you know, that's an investment for a body scrub. But in a fantasy basket, I would like to try it. Next is the Alginist Elevate Advanced Retinol Serum. So it's a $98 serum, pricey serum. Um, but I'm curious about it. It sounds really good. I've really enjoyed the other products I've tried from the Alginist line. I think they just make great skincare. So this has patented algoronic acid in it. Um, it also has this, green algae encapsulated retinol. I love me some retinol, so I would be interested to know how theirs performs. It says it visibly helps reduce the appearance of lines and wrinkles, smoothing texture. Y'all know I'm all about the smoothing in a skincare product. That's definitely a goal. So love the sounds of that. And then it also has peptides in it. So it's supposed to help with fine lines and wrinkles, pores, dullness, and uneven texture. What else could you want in a skincare product? That sounds amazing. I have a couple of Kula products in my basket. The Kula, cause I've heard great things about their line. I don't think, have I, I cannot remember if I've tried something from them before. I feel like I got something in a BoxyCharm box and I think I liked it, but I can't honestly remember. So I put a couple things in the basket, in the fake basket, and the fantasy basket. This is the, first thing is the Kula Classic Face Sunscreen SPF 50 White Tea. So it's got fortified, fortified sun protection that's unbelievably light, non-greasy, and sheer on skin. So I definitely want a high SPF, especially on my face, and I'll sometimes bring it down on my neck. Um, you know, I just, I wanna protect my skin. So like the sounds of that, SPF 50, yes, $32. And then next I put one of the body spray ones, the Kula Classic Body Organic Sunscreen Spray, SPF 50, and it is $25. So I just hear that the Kula line is great, that their sunscreens are awesome. So grabbed a couple of those, or grabbed, Grabbed them to put in my fantasy basket. <laughs> Y'all know that I love cute little tiny makeup. So this is adorable. This is the Kaja Air Heart Lipstick and Cheeky Stamp Blush Set. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So the little um, cream blush container is adorable. It's got a little like stamp applicator that's in the shape of a heart, love that. And then the lip product, ha the bullet is in the shape of a heart. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And the little set is $25. Um, says it has a full size blush and a full size lipstick in complimentary shades to give you the most flattering flush. So it just looks cute. Y'all know I love color cosmetics and especially if it's adorable and those are adorable. I also put quite a few Charlotte Tilbury products in my fantasy basket. So first off is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Long Wear Foundation and this is $44. 
So this is supposed to be a long lasting weightless hybrid skincare foundation, Charlotte's secret to a flawless, poreless looking confident complexion. Love the sounds of that. That's one of the main things I love about the It Cosmetics CC Cream, that it is like skincare mixed with coverage. That's all, I mean, that just sounds like the best of, the best of all the makeup-y skincare world. You know what I mean? So it just sounds good. Um, it's a liquid foundation. It's supposed to have full coverage and be more of a matte finish. I also put the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation in my fantasy basket. So it says it is a long lasting, medium buildable coverage foundation with a demi matte finish and SPF 15 to protect skin. So that sounds good too. I mean, I, I'd be interested in both of them. I've heard great things about both of them. And I feel like I've tried a sample of one of them at some point, but I can't remember. I like the bottles, the packaging looks pretty on them too. So this one is also $44. Um, I don't really know what color I would be maybe like color three for the magic foundation let me know if you've tried her foundations what you think about them and which one's your favorite this melt cosmetics amore eterno illumination highlighter just looked pretty i like the packaging i like the design on it the color looks really pretty it just looks like this kind of duo chromey pinky bronzy corally sort of a mixture so it looks just duo chrome and pretty and also kind of funky fun, especially with the packaging. I even like the swatches, like the swatches that they have online. The girls have long, like kind of edgy looking fingernails and it just looks cool. I have wanted this product for a while, the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, and this is $44, so it is a liquid tinted complexion booster for a superstar youthful glow. So I've seen this product used in different ways. I have used it on clients in different ways and it is a beautiful product. So you can mix it with foundation, you can put it on before foundation, you can put it on just kind of the high points of the cheekbones, which is how I would use it. I kind of wondered if I would enjoy more number one or number two, um, but it's just this beautiful liquidy, like glowy highlighter sort of a product. It's not full on like metallic, but it's just more of that lit from within glow that makes your skin look really pretty. So you can use it in different ways. I like the applicator. It's a doe foot kind of a, you know, applicator like that, like a doe foot, whatever. You get the idea. It's a cool product. Another skincare product in my basket, the Alginist Blue Algae Vitamin C Dark Spot Correcting Peel. This just sounds good. I love vitamin C. I love the idea of helping with dark spots and I love peels and you know, those kind of products that just like resurface and just get all the gunk off to give you a nice clean layer of new skin. So I like the sounds of this. It says it's a vegan resurfacing and exfoliating peel that reduces the look of dark spots and hyperpigmentation while visibly smoothing texture, evening tone and brightening. So it's supposed to have algoronic acid in it, blue algae vitamin C, L absorbic acid and phycocyanin? Don't know. <laughs> um, but those are supposed to reduce the appearance of dark spots and hyperpigmentation. It's supposed to also have triple action complex TAC, which visibly enhances spot reducing power without drying skin out or any downtime. So it just sounds good, but it's an $85 skincare product. So it's pricey but I bet it's good. Okay, so I put two different shades of this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Matte Bronzer in my fantasy cart. This is a $55 bronzer, but I love the powder that she has. I mean, it's so smoothing and beautiful on the skin that I'm sure this is amazing too. I mean, I'm sure the texture is just as good. I just couldn't, just, I wasn't sure if I would, I think I would use both. I think Fair would be more of an all over kind of bronzing sort of color on me, but I think I could use the medium for more kind of chiseling um, and just, you know, if I have a sunless tan on or whatever. So I put both shades in my fantasy cart. All right, y'all, the Natasha Denona Bronze Eyeshadow Palette and the Bronze Face Glow Palette. These are both so beautiful. The palette is $65 and the Glow Palette is $55. So if I had to choose between the two, Probably would go with the bronze eyeshadow palette just because I love palettes, eyeshadow palettes. Those are like my favorite thing in makeup products. So I'd probably go with that, um, but I've seen the bronze face glow palette used in action and it looks really beautiful too. 
and just gives this gorgeous look on the skin and just like so bronzy and glowy and beautiful. So that looks gorgeous too. Um, I don't know. I mean, the one thing about it is it's a bronze palette. Um, I don't know. I wish there were a few more light colors in it. I mean, I think it totally fits the name that it's a bronze palette. So there's a lot of bronzy short, short of shade in it. Yeah, but I think I would wear it more if it had some lighter shades in there because I love doing those light sort of eyes. Um, so yeah, I mean, for $65, I wish it had some more light shades in it, but I do love her eyeshadow formula. It's good. Another skincare product, I put the Josie Marin Argon Beta Retinol Pink Algae Serum in my fantasy cart. It is $68. Again, a retinol. I mean, I love retinols. I love Josie Marin's line. I mean, everything I've tried from her line, I love. My skin seems to love. I see good changes in my skin when I use her products. So again, I think that I would enjoy this product too. It says it's a clean, revolutionary pro retinol serum derived from pink algae that is shown to reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles without harsh side effects. I love the packaging too. It's pink. That's adorable. And I'm sure that it is a great product. It's supposed to have 2% pro, -retino pro retinol derived from pink algae and Quercetin, quercetin, an antioxidant that holds the retinol activity within the skin for longer lasting activity and quicker visible results, and then organic argon oil, which I love. I also put a Pat McGrath Labs palette in my fantasy basket, because it looks beautiful, but holy moly, it's expensive. It's $125. Um, I got, it's the Mothership 8 Artistry Eyeshadow Palette, Divine Rose 2 Collection. It looks gorgeous. I mean, the swatches look amazing. There's golds, there's pinks, there's bronzy burgundy shades. It looks beautiful. And I'm trying to remember if I tried. I think I do have a little mini palette of hers and I've liked the formula. I think I got it during a sale at some point. So that's how I ended up with one of her palettes. But I really enjoy the formula. It's just expensive. So that's why it's in the fantasy basket. Put a couple of shades of this Fenty Beauty slip shine sheer shiny lipsticks that's hard to say <laughs> in my fantasy basket i put the shade glazed which is described as a peachy nude and then also sugar kiss which is described as a bubblegum pink um i think they just look shiny glossy comfortable effortless um i really like rihanna's line i mean she makes great makeup everything i've tried from her line i've really enjoyed so i'm sure these are awesome too i just like the idea of them being that kind of effortless sort of a a look and just glossy and hydrating they look like really good lipsticks and those are 22 dollars lipsticks by the way okay and then last thing in my fantasy basket is the peter thomas roth water drench hyaluronic hydrating moisturizer spf 45 and this is 52 dollars I just love the sounds of this. Again, I've tried many things from Peter Thomas Roth, have really enjoyed them. That is one of my favorite skincare lines. I will typically get them from QVC though because they do today's special values, they do sets. So that's where I get his skincare, but I really, really like his line. I love the idea of hyaluronic hydration. I mean, hyaluronic acid, yes, a moisturizer and SPF 45. I mean, that just sounds so good. It says a broad spectrum SPF 45 sunscreen with a unique water break texture, an invisible finish that protects the skin and provides up to 72 hours of hydration. So yeah, it's supposed to help with fine lines, wrinkles, and dryness. Um, it's got different things in there. The SPF, it's got a hyaluronic acid complex, and then it's also got penta, what does this say? Pentavitin which is what provides up to 72 hours of hydration and can help reduce, uh, help replenish moisture depleted by outdoor heat and sunlight. So it just sounds good. Lots of good benefits to it. So yeah. Okay, so that's everything that I have in my fantasy basket. So the total is $997 before tax. So quick little wrap up. What would I actually consider getting from this basket? So looking at these things, um, I think I need samples of the Charlotte Tilbury um, foundations to try those again. I 
can't remember if I've, I know I've tried one of them, but I can't remember when I thought about them. So I would want to try them again before committing to a full size. I would invest though in a foundation, a foundation that I'm putting all over my skin. I am willing to spend more money on that. So I would possibly consider getting one of those. Um, definitely would consider getting the Hollywood Flawless Filter because I think I would get a lot of use out of that. I think I could get a lot of applications worth for the price. So I think I would consider that. As much as I would love the bronzer, I don't think I could justify $55 for that. Ugh, just seems really high because I do have other bronzers that I love. I'm sure I would love it, but I just don't think I would feel good about spending that much on a bronzer. Um, I'd probably get one of the Fenty lipsticks because I think I would get, you know, some good use out of that and it's really pretty. Oh, and I think, I, okay, so the Peter Thomas Roth and the Josie, if those, and even Algenist, if those come in some kind of a QVC set, totally would get it. So I probably would not buy it from Sephora. I would watch for a QVC set and get them that way because I'm sure that I would like all those products. So that's how I would get those. Okay guys, so that wraps up this video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please do a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what kind of goodies you would put in your fantasy basket. I would love to hear your thoughts and your responses. What kind of goodies would you eye? What sort of splurge items would you maybe consider putting in your fantasy basket? I would love to hear your responses down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!